Hey, so this is going to be uh, a little, I guess, recording of A3 for the new event, uh, Two-Faced Teacher. I feel so weird calling it Two-Faced Teacher because after the longest time, I knew it as I come with a knight. Uh, but the, the event dropped, I think, a couple days ago, I guess, or uh, I think it might have dropped yesterday. Even I forget when it dropped. I'm gonna have to check Hi. once I get back to the main menu. When did it first? Uh, it's available until August 4th. <laughs> it doesn't tell me anything. I think it came out on, uh... Maybe yesterday or something. And, uh, I missed the initial open opening day, so uh, this will be me, uh, diving into it for the first time. But, uh, let's check my progress here to see what I'm at. I'm in the top 74.4% right now. Hmm, school building at dusk. Oh, already? Oh, okay, already breaking the millions. Interesting, interesting. Well, I'll have to work uh, quite hard to um, get myself up there. So I have up to chapter 5 of the stories. We're gonna do a couple more event shows, and then we'll probably go on ahead and... Um, read some of the stories. Um, this will be fun. This will be like, I guess, a sort of impromptu sort of recording. I'll definitely be posting this on my channel for sure. But uh, yeah, this is just a little thing to just kind of test out. Okay, so we got some Kame buns. That's good because we can replenish our XSP with that. Uh, do, 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 do. All right, I guess one thing I should show you is I should show you some of my um, my, my, my favorites that I have lined up here. So I have Muku as uh, my first one because Muku is my favorite character. Then I have uh, Juza. Then Kumon. As you can see, I love the Hyorosaka family. Um, I think they're great. Some of my uh, some of my favorite characters in the game. And of course we have Misumi. Yeah, I, <laughs> I'm a huge fan of Misumi. Uh, yeah. <laughs> of course Bonri's here. Um, I was super excited for this event. This was one of the ones that I was most excited to see come to the English servers. Um, but also one of the ones that I was the most scared to see because, um... For those of you who don't know, Bonri and Ikaru are two of the most popular characters overall in both servers. And, uh... Yeah! <laughs> uh, and then I have Citron. I have, a. I I had Citron here because, uh because uh, my, my partner um, really loves Citron, but uh, I'm gonna get rid of him uh, because uh, he's actually surprisingly not one of my favorites, but I'm going to instead put Sakuya because Sakuya is a good boy and I love him. And he's... He's my favorite, um... He's my favorite of the Spring Troop members. Uh, if you're wondering who my favorite is for each troop, um, summer obviously it's Muku, um, for spring it's Sakuya, for autumn it's Juza, and then for winter my favorite member is Sumugi. Uh, yeah, this is, uh, this is just, uh, sort of a thing to, to just kind of put on my channel just because I, am. Um, I don't know. I thought it'd be fun to kind of do some, some little readings and whatnot, um, while I'm, uh, tier, I guess, I well, I don't know if I want to tier for this event. I might, I might not, but I definitely do want to get a couple copies of Itaru because, um, eh, I don't know, yeah, maybe I'll get a couple copies of Itaru, but, uh, I was more so wanting to get Bonri more than anything to add him to my collection because, uh, Bonri is one of the only, one of the, one of the characters I simp for in this game. Actually, no, I don't want, I'll use four Kame buns. We'll get a good grasp of, um, SP recovery here. I apologize if sometimes you hear me sniffle or blow my nose. Uh, for some reason, when I'm excited, I tend to get a very stuffy nose. I I'm gonna skip the fucking thing, but... Oh, there we go. <laughs> the damn recording button is in the way. That's okay. As you can see, I have a, I have a big brain set up here. Totally. I'm, uh, totally, because I'm doing matinees. Um, I'm just doing a couple. I plan to obviously skip them as, uh, as time goes on, but I was just, uh, I was just doing a couple just to get my score up. Um, oh, another event show. Perfect. Hopefully, yeah, we get either a soiree or a finale. Oh, a soiree. Perfect. I 
Yeah, you know what? Get over here, Misumi. <laughs> yeah, get over here. We'll put you on the team. We'll have two Misumis at the same time. That'll be great. <laughs> Alrighty. Uh, can I press the skip button? I can't press the skip button. <laughs> it's okay. We'll just watch this play out. Yes, I have a fully bloomed uh, birthday citron. He looks like he has gingivitis because the ends of his teeth are a red. I, I know it's just for shading, obviously, but if you have a if you have red teeth, then go uh, go get some uh, go, 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 go book a, a, a dental appointment because <laughs> that can mean bad news, boy or buddy. Bunny, bunny old pal. All right, sweet fourteen thousand points. I'll have to do a bit of grinding, but that's okay because I have nothing else better to do in this pandemic. But real, then again, do, do do any of us have anything to do? Anything better to do? I don't really think we do. Oh, sweet, another event show. All right, perfect. Like I said, we'll be doing a couple, and then we'll. Uh, Oh, get birthday crew on here. Uh, my action team is probably my strongest right now. I could be wrong, but this is just from. Oh my god. Okay, I'm gonna just move the. I'm gonna move my. Uh, I didn't even move the recording timer. I apologize if you see it in the background. This is just for. Uh, for screen recording, obviously. Please don't, uh, don't, don't mind that. I try not to. This is very unprofessional, I know, but I'm not a very professional person. Well, I don't know. <laughs> All right, we'll get some, get some items, and then we'll press this. We'll fill up our, our bento boxes. There we go. Okay, well. Hmm. <laughs> no, I gotta save for bir for birthday Bonnery, and also, oh fuck, I forgot birthday Muku's coming soon. Oh right, yes, um, that reminds me, I believe this upcoming Monday, yes, this upcoming Monday will be uh, Kazunari's birthday, so ha happy early birthday to Kazunari. Uh, I'll probably be recording the episode, of course, because this runs till August fourth. I'll probably record a couple, but we'll do, we'll do some chapter readings, because, because why not? I want to get a, I, I, I want to read this. Uh, obviously, of course, I named my character after myself, just because you know, MC. You can name me whatever the hell you want. Let's run through that part one more time. Oi! Hang in there, kid. Our students need a passionate teacher like you. Oh. Yeah, you're right. I'll work my hardest. <laughs> Good work today. See you tomorrow. Ah. Actually, you know what? If something's bothering you, I'm always here to talk if you want. Ah. Thanks, but I'm fine. Practice has been a breeze so far. We have Itaru as a laid-back teacher, Bonri as a fervent new hire, Tsumugi as a macho gym teacher, and Misumi as a mysterious student. They've already got such a solid grasp on their characters that it feels like they've been acting out these roles for ages. <laughs> They're doing great. You think so too? S Definitely. Ah, uh, yes. <laughs> oh, I I'm surprised we're already jumping into practice. Actually, no, I'm not surprised that we're already jumping into practice considering the fact that the Ginji the Wanderer story um, uh, kind of had um, kind of had that going for it too, where uh, they were. Uh, I, I think yeah, they were. Uh, yeah, they were in the middle of practice during this show too. Uh, no, not in the middle of practice uh, during the show. <laughs> during the show, yes, they're in the middle of practice. What I meant was, what the fuck was I gonna say? Oh my god, now I completely uh, lost my train of thought. But whatever, <laughs> it's fine. All right, that's it for today. Great work, guys. Nice. Good work. Good job, everyone. That was fun. Let's dive right into our meeting then. Having Yitaru explore his multifaceted personality through his role as a teacher has been interesting to watch, to say the least. I know you had to do this in Wonderland as well, Yitaru, but isn't it tiring having to play two roles in one? <laughs> teacher by day, mystery man by night. 
Sounds like the plot for a movie or something. I dig it. <laughs> Ethan already has his own Jekyll and Hyde thing going on in real life, so this is nothing new for him. Can't argue with you there. <laughs> More like it'd be impossible to, even if you tried. Shut it, you. Anyways. The rest of the Spring Troop helped me create this character during our practices, so I figured I should take advantage of my versatility. So he ended up getting help from the Spring Troop. It's nice to know he trusts and relies on them so much. Chikage also has a unique double life situation of his own, so he might be a good reference for Itaru, too. I've been discussing things with the Winter Troop as well. Tosco and Hisoka in particular have given me some great advice. Your role as a super manly gym teacher is quite different from how you are in your everyday life, so I'm glad you were able to get some tips on how to pull it off. <laughs> <laughs> me too. But the difficulty of making it work is all the more reason for me to put my all into perfecting the role. Speaking of mismatching personalities, I think you take the cake this time, Bonri. You and your character are like night and day. Yeah, you're not wrong there. Taichi and Omi told me the same thing. Did you get any advice from the summer troop, Misumi? <laughs> they all just told me to do my best. Tenma says he knows I'll do great. Aw, it's sweet that the summer troop put someone's fate in the, the... I have monkey brain. I apologize. <laughs> this isn't... <laughs> uh, let's take that from the top. Aw, it's sweet that the summer troop put so much faith into Misumi. Of course it is. It's so sweet. I'm so glad they have faith in him. They're like, yeah, you can do it, Misumi. <laughs> I'm sorry. I get very giddy over this game. It just makes me happy. <laughs> I really want this play to be a huge hit since it's our very first mixed performance. I'm with you there. Let's work hard to put on the best show ever. Nah. Bonri, can you be more pushy and aggressive for that last scene? You want me to go further? Alright. Misumi, I think shifting your gaze more when you respond to Bonri will make you come off as even more mysterious. Why don't you give that a shot? Okies! I'll try that out! Hmm. I'd like to emphasize the difference between my two personalities a little more. Well, even though we've been going on about how two-faced Futami is, at his core, he's a wonderful character who cares about his students more than anything. Right, but as caring as he is, he's not the type to outwardly show it. Itaruka. Do you think you can sneak that aspect of Futami into your performance, Itaru? I mean, I guess. I kind of want to focus on flaunting what a badass he is with his double life, though. You gotta show everyone how cool he is, you know? And maybe I'm being too nitpicky, but a real teacher wouldn't have this much time and energy to invest in a single student, especially in this day and age. <laughs> Always the realist, Itaru. You know I'm right, though. You never know. Maybe someone in the troop actually had a teacher like him in the past. Oh. oh. Bonri? Uh, don't mind me. I just kind of hit a little too close to home. Maybe that's why I low-key had deja vu when I went over the script. For real? Yeah. There was this one time my high school counselor ended up running running off campus to find me. Oh, interesting. Whoa, the delinquent versus the guidance counselor? Sounds like something straight out of a TV show. Why did he chase after you, Bonri? Because <laughs> I didn't turn in the survey for my post-graduation plans. You should have just BSed your answers and handed it in. I didn't have any goals back then, so I had nothing to write down. He kept nagging me to turn it in, but I just ignored him, and eventually he chased me down. He must have been really worried about you. I told him there was nothing I wanted to do, but he ended up filling out the form for me instead. Talk about pushy. What did he end up writing? Hmm. Huh. I wanted to get into the most prestigious national university or something. Damn. I'm sure you could have gotten in without any problems, but he sure had lofty goals for you. Itaru. Yeah, considering the fact that Bonri is literally fucking perfect at everything he does, I'm pretty sure he could get into some, uh, just some, uh, like, a uh, high, high-end, um, <laughs> university, like, fucking, what's the stereotypical one that's in the Ivy Leagues, like, Harvard and shit like that. <laughs> that's always the one that they say in all those, those teenage chick flicks. <laughs> I say that being a 19-year-old. I guess 19 still kind of counts as a teenager, but 
in most places that's kind of your first step into adulthood. Do you have any memories of your teachers like Banri Itaru? Not really. I was a pretty easy student to deal with, actually. <laughs> I definitely wasn't a problem child like a certain someone here. Okay, now you shut it. What was that flash of deep conflict I saw in Itaru just now? I wonder if he remembered something unpleasant. Something tells me Itaru's got more baggage! <laughs> He's got more baggage. We learned about some of that baggage, I guess, in, uh... What is it, uh... Oh, Knights of the Round! We learned about some of that when uh, he kind of got outed for having a, a double life <laughs> uh, in high school. Oh, there he is! Oh, hey, Caitlin. What's up? There's something I wanted to talk to you about. Sure thing. Here, have a seat. Thanks! What were you doing out here? Just thinking about some stuff. I wonder if he has any worries about the mixed performance. Practices have been going great so far, but are you doing alright? I know there can be a lot of pressure when it comes to being the lead. Uh, this is already my second time being a main lead, and uh, I have the rest of the cast and the spring troop to back me up, so I feel pretty chill. <laughs> a lot braver since the Nairon performance. I'm happy that you feel that way. <laughs> when you put it that way, I guess you're right. I even did that whole opening act before the first show. Before I forget to ask, do you really not have any significant memories with your teachers while you were in school? Oh, this is about what we discussed during practice? I honestly don't. I did my best to stay under the radar in elementary and middle school, and when I got into high school, I played the role of an average goody two-shoes. Unlike Bonri, who was apparently a pain in the butt to deal with, my teachers never had to get involved with me to that level, and I kept my distance from them. I see. I never joined any clubs, and always went home right after school too, so I never interacted with any club advisors either. I'm sorry if I'm prying, but is it painful for you to recall your high school days? After all the bad memories with Tonooka that Itaru had to relive during her KOTR performance, maybe I shouldn't ask, but still. Ah, that's ancient history already. I'm way over it at this point. I was just thinking about my role this time. Nah. Great teachers have to be like Bonri's counselor and always think of what's best for their students, right? I mean, obviously, not all teachers are actually like that. Yeah. Like Tsumugi said earlier, Futami comes off as a total layabout, but he actually cares a lot about his students. As a fellow working man, I respect that those kinds of teachers are out there. But at the same time, I feel like it's impossible for me to play that role faithfully. You used to be a tutor though, right? Yeah, but since it was only a part-time job, I never formed particularly deep bonds with my students. When I look back on those days, Makes me realize that I was never as kind and caring to my students as Sumugi is to his now. Don't get me wrong, I am having fun acting out Futami's dual personalities, but deep down, I can't fully comprehend why he would go so far for his kids. So I guess that's just kind of been bugging me lately. Hmm. Since I don't get the driving horse. B driving horse? <laughs> driving force behind those feelings. I can't exactly say I'm confident with my role as a teacher. No wonder you've been so deep in thought. I wonder if his feelings about this is the reason why he wants so badly to show off Lutrami's different selves in a cool way. I'm sure that's what he's working so hard to express through his acting. If only I had a buddy who was an impassioned school teacher. Yeah. <laughs> well, uh, how about we see if any of the other troop members can help you with your role study? <laughs> <laughs> Sounds good. Well, putting what I said aside, I still think I'll be able to play Futami without any problems. You don't have to worry about me. Alright, if you say so. I'm still not fully convinced that everything's fine, though. Good morning? Oh, good morning. Remember how I invited you to come along with Tasuku and me when we visit our old school? Well, I wanted to talk to you about that. 
I got permission from my teacher to go, so I was thinking we could have, head over there sometime next week. <laughs> I'm really looking forward to seeing my teacher again. It's been a while. I'm excited to go to your alma... Alma Mater? Is that how you pronounce it? Alma Mater? I think that's how you pronounce it. I'm excited to go to your Alma Mater, too. I'm sure it'll be a nice blast from the past. Hi. Yeah. I bet I'll remember a lot when we were there. Those memories... Uh, wait, when we were there? Fuck. I'll remember a lot when we're there. Those memories will really help serve as inspiration for our ad-libbed portions, as well as for my role study. Fingers crossed that this will be helpful for you. I should recommend the others to go visit their old schools, too. That'd be a great idea, but I'm not sure Itori will be too thrilled at this suggestion. Oh, so Sumuki noticed Itori was acting off, too, just like I did. Maybe he has some bad memories associated with his school days? Um, about that. Itori has trauma! <laughs> about that, Itori needs therapy. So that's how he's been feeling. He also mentioned that he wishes he could talk to a passionate teacher about all of this, but he doesn't know anyone like that. Oh. What is it? Considering we just heard a story about someone's overly zealous teacher, all might not be lost. Huh? When did we hear about someone like that? Oh, right! <laughs> We're talking about Bonri's teacher. <laughs> We're like, who's the... Oh, right, Bonri. Oh, shit, we're already on chapter three. God damn. All right, well, I, I guess we'll uh, we'll stop at uh, chapter six. I guess we'll stop the recording there. <laughs> and then we'll... Uh... And then we'll uh, we'll tune in for another episode. By the way, for those who were fans of the of the first episode of Ace Attorney Dorito Saga, um, good news. I do plan to work on that sometime in the future because uh, I really loved making the first episode of of the Dorito Saga. Um, but I lost the file for episode two. I think I did. It might be somewhere in my downloads, but I'll have to check. And if it is. I can go off of there, but if not, then I will just simply work on it from the ground up with a with a new handle on it, a new a new refreshed perspective on my first episode of the Dorito Saga. But yeah, uh, I do promise you that there will be more Dorito Saga content. There will be more Ace Attorney shitpost content. Speaking of Ace Attorney, I'm super excited. For the great ace attorney chronicles uh i can't wait to download it on my switch because i love the ace attorney franchise so much um i i kind of grew up with it i never really started fully playing it until i was a teenager but i always kind of knew about it from like um uh, i'd say i'd say fifth grade or sixth grade is when i first found out about it and then uh i think i, I, I got into the series around 2019 to 2020 when i first started um uh, purchasing games with the trilogy coming out on steam and i got a physical copy of apollo justice from an old game store that used to be right across from my street uh but that's neither here nor there i just wanted to sort of uh i guess uh do a little uh a little update on, on certain things because i i know some people uh really really liked the <laughs> the first episode of the dorito saga which i did too it's one of my favorite videos i made on the channel honestly um and, uh, I, I plan to post more A3 content. Uh, I might post some Obey Me content as well, uh, because I've been getting into Obey Me a lot. Um, I'll also probably be posting some Fire Emblem Heroes content too. Just kind of doing some like little Let's Plays here and there. You know, just kind of just to kind of get a feel for what I want to do on this channel. Uh, <laughs> I just kind of kind of want to do a bunch of different videos, I suppose. And just go around and post them and, and shit like that. But yeah, that's uh. That's kind of what I've been thinking of doing, uh, but I'm getting off on uh, I'm getting off track here. Let's uh, let's get back to the uh, to 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 the let's play, <laughs> or I guess the reading. <laughs> Not really a let. Well, I guess it's a let's play because it's a game. All right, let's stop here for today. Okay. GG. All right. Thanks for a great rehearsal, everyone. Hey guys, before you leave, there's something I'd like to talk to you about. What is it? The thing is, Suzuki and Tusco are going to be visiting their old high school. Oh no. After practice the other day, 
Tosco and I were talking about one of our old teachers, and we felt we should visit him and thank him for taking care of us. Sounds like a good idea. Huh, that's cool. But of course, I'm also doing this so that I can understand my role as a teacher better. We were talking about how it also help him to come up with ad libs for the show. Anyway, we think that you should all try to do the same if you're up for it. Hi. Ooh, I want to visit my old school too! I don't have many memories with my old teachers either, just like Ita do. But I saw some kitties when I went to Suku High with Kumon. <laughs> I want to go back and see them again. Nice, Misumi's in. What do you think, Bonri? How about being a visit to that nice guidance counselor of yours? Uh... <laughs> Bonri's like, uh, yeah, about that. Uh... <laughs> I kinda... I, I kinda got something else to do, you know? Uh, you, you know, uh... <laughs> you know me, I'm a teenage boy, uh, gotta, 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 go, gotta go do teenage boy things, like go shopping and, and stuff like that. <laughs> uh, basically, uh, fuck no, I don't, I don't want to go. <laughs> uh, a teenager's avoiding responsibility? <laughs> Couldn't be me. <laughs> I can't imagine that happening. Totally not. If you can't pick up on the sarcasm, of course, that, that means, yeah. <laughs> teenagers love avoiding responsibility. I know I did when, when I was a teenager. But, uh, got one responsibility at some point. Mm, that's not the face of someone who's jumping at the fa at the chance to meet his old counselor. I don't know about that. It just feels too embarrassing to talk about and to talk to him after I decided to go to Valudo Arts. I was too busy during graduation day to talk to him, too. Pretty sure he doesn't think highly of me either, considering what a punk ass I used to be. It'd be kind of awkward to see him again. <laughs> When you talked about him, it sounded like he really cared about you, so I doubt he feels that way at all. I'm sure if he adored you, if you took that much effort to help you out, I bet he'd be elated to see you again. The Bonry's like, No. <laughs> no, don't make me do this. No. <laughs> Alright, I guess it's better to say thanks to him late than never. How about you, Itaru? I never went out of my way to speak with any of my teachers, so I bet none of them would even remember me. Don't think there'd be much of a point in visiting my school, to be honest. In that case, were there any teachers that left an impression on you? Maybe your modern Japanese teacher, like Futami? Ah, oh, I guess there was one, but it's been years. I doubt they'd remember me anymore. Hmm. Why don't you tag along with Bonri, then? Huh? You could speak with an enthusiastic teacher if you went, just like you said you wanted to. Think about it. You were the lead, so you should go and breathe in that fresh academic air. You really gotta envision yourself in the classroom. Aww. I think you're acting a lot more passionate than my counselor right now, Caitlin. Mm -hmm. Well, I gotta make sure I'm I'm the I'm the director, bro. I wanna I wanna make sure that you guys are performing to the best of your abilities and that you're really going for it. Because that's what directors do. They try to bring out the best in, in, in their in their actors. I guess. I don't know. I'm talking out of my ass. <laughs> I bet she wants to visit all our schools with us. <laughs> it seems like she does. Mm. Bonnery's teacher legit sounds like a national treasure. So I'd be lying if I said I wouldn't love to meet him myself. Nah, nah. Me too! I want to go to Bonri Masumi in Sakuya School! You know what? I guess I'll join you guys. I've already been to Hanahai a number of times, so one more time wouldn't hurt. Awesome! The whole gang can go together then! Yoda. Just so we're clear, I'm only going in because I'm being nice and driving you guys there anyway. Hey, hey. Yeah, sure. <laughs> He's like, yeah, sure, buddy. Whatever. You're totally doing this because you care. Sorry, I wanted to go. Sorry, I wanted to go with you, but some plans just came up. Have fun without me. Hi. No worries. Thanks for driving us, Hitaru. Yoro. We're counting on you, Mr. Driver. Hmm? No prob. I'll get us there safe and sound. Yo. Let's go. Aww. Nah. How'd you get permission to visit your school anyway, Bonri? 
Let Masumi contact him for me. You got Masumi to help? How? <laughs> I mentioned that Caitlin was gonna come along and he handled everything for me in a flash. He was even planning to be our tour guide. No sign of him around, though. He must have bailed once he heard Caitlin wasn't tagging along. Speaking of Masumi, I pretended to be his older brother the last time I stopped by the school. You serious? <laughs> we weren't seeing eye to eye during Wonderland, so I picked him up from school for some mandatory bonding time. And I made up that lie to piss him off. <laughs> Lols. Dude, how childish are you? <laughs> He's... <laughs> I love that! I love Ethan just being like, I'm gonna... I'm gonna annoy the shit out of Masumi. <laughs> He's... He really woke up and chose violence with Masumi. He, he really did. Oh. <laughs> this is why Ethan is so fucking funny. He's just like, you know what? I'm gonna make his life miserable. <laughs> Today, I will cause problems for Masumi on purpose. <laughs> Dude, how childish are you? I'll take that as a compliment. <laughs> I'm a child at heart. You're the only weirdo who would. Oh, I almost forgot that Sakuya wanted me to say hi to our old counselor for him. Really? Guess he took care of Sakuya too. <laughs> yeah, almost to the point of being a nuisance. That guy's always meddling in his students' business. He sounds like such a wonderful person. I'm getting even more excited to meet him in person. Yeah, I can't wait! I'm inclined to think that he might have had an easier time dealing with Sakuya. Can't deny that! Well, yeah, of course, Sakuya's like probably one of the only kids who didn't cause problems. Because Sakuya's a good boy. And he, he, you can trust Sakuya. You always can. You, you can never, you can never not trust Sakuya because he's a good boy who's very trustworthy. Oh. Wow, all that talk sure helped pass the time. Yeah. We're here! To be continued. Well, we cleared about three chapters. I know I said I was going to do up to chapter six, but I think that's a good place to stop for today. So if I can pull up the goddamn thingy. Uh, I will see you guys in the next episode. In the meantime, have a great day wherever you are in the world, whether it be morning, afternoon, evening, night, wherever you are in the world. Take care, and I love you guys, and uh, I'll see you around.